We're on our way to see Juan Jose Paniagua, better known as J.J. Paniagua, a pioneer of organic agriculture in Costa Rica and a renowned leader in Latin America. But how did we get here? Well, when we arrived in Sacero that morning, we asked to see if anyone could direct us to him. We were given directions to his first farm, where we met his son, Luis Carlos. He managed the property and was willing to show us how it all worked. Here in this greenhouse is where the seedlings began their journey before being transferred over to his father's farm. Got little seeds planted in these little carts. Is that quanto quanto tiene esta, perdón? Tres días. Tres días. Three days. Three days. Look, yeah, three days. they're starting to sprout. Right Which here. one is? What is right this? Here. Which plant is this one? Right es difícil de saber qué es esto aquí. Oh. Eso es. You know, lettuce. Uh, lettuce. Lettuce. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Adorable. Little seeds sprouting. These are guanabana trees just starting out. They also grew a variety of herbs. In this controlled environment, they were protected from insects and from the elements. Completely organic. Smells amazing. Harvested 20 times the same plant over and over. Luis decided to take us to see his father's farm. And so, we found ourselves here, going for an unplanned adventure. He wasn't expecting visitors, but he made time for us and decided to give us a tour of his farm, which he calls Tierra de Sueños, meaning land of dreams. Cabbage, you got beautiful cabbage, love the color. Y hay también otros microorganismos, mira. Sí, muchos. Lots of microorganisms living in there too. Beautiful. Black, black. That is beautiful. Ah, muy suave. Claro. Very soft. Yeah. Y le ayuda. Y huele muy rico. Sí. This is how cabbage oh, no, grows. Ya, eh, ya, grows ya, inside ya. like that. A little baby broccoli. Vamos allá, pastor. All the land on his farm is worked by hand. He doesn't use any machinery on the soil. JJ believes tilling the ground by hand is like caressing the earth. It's gentler on the soil and allows for better water and nutrient absorption. Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Carrots, bok choy, lettuce, mustard. Got pulled right off the ground. This one it looks like right off the ground. Smells 
smells amazing actually. Yeah, I, I can't imagine how it tastes. And look, it's, it's organic. Look at the shapes, you know? So unique, all different, very real, right? Usually when we buy carrots, they all look perfect and everything, but this, this is a real deal right here. Lots of potatoes. Those men are just putting some uh, healthy micro juices that they make. All organic and from the earth, fermented. He observes nature because he knows she is the best teacher. This is his philosophy. Do you yeah. smell the earth? Yes, I do. Here? Yeah. So what they're doing is they're trying to replicate what happens in the forest over in the farm. Ah, okay. Wow. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Parecido. Paniagua doesn't use any chemicals on his farm. We live in a toxic world, and often, making money is given priority over our health. He believes natural agriculture is the solution, and he wants to show the world that it's possible. These cows produce the manure that they use in the soil, and it's only five cows, and they're enough to do the job. Amazing. We ended our day feeling inspired by the beauty of his farm. When he purchased this land, some doubted that anything good could come out of it. But through faith, hard work, and perseverance, JJ and his family have transformed it into a land of dreams that rewards them abundantly. We left JJ and Luis Paniagua grateful for the time they spent with us. Often, our best experiences are the ones we don't plan. What an amazing experience. We weren't planning this. <laughs>